Hi, I'm Charles Lewis and welcome to my photography business and another money-making hot tip video. And what I want to talk to you about today is a major mistake that I see quite a lot of photographers making that's costing them a lot of money. And yet, if no one tells you about this, you don't become aware of it until someone brings it up and mentions it to you. And that's concerning the respect with which you show your images, the way you treat what it is you do for a living with your craft. So the reason I want to walk around a little bit here and show you my studio is because I want you to see something that I'm not doing. All right? As you look around the studio, there's something missing that so many photographers do that I don't do, and there's a darn good reason for it. And the thing that I don't do, the, thing, the, the reason I'm bringing this up is because I just saw a photographer's studio, and he was making this mistake in a big way, and I want to make sure that you're not making this mistake, okay? What you're not seeing here is you not, are not seeing images touching the floor. You have to have terrific respect for what you do. There's no images leaning up against the wall, unframed. It doesn't even matter if they're framed or not. They're, there's no images sitting down on the floor or leaning up against the wall. Nowhere. Okay? You've got to show respect for your photography. Because if you expect other people to invest a significant amount of money for what you do, you better doggone well treat it with a lot of respect yourself because people follow your lead. So not only are my photographs nicely framed and presented, not only am I only showing wall portraits and no smaller images, but most importantly, there's no photograph ever leaning around the studio on the wall, on the floor, leaning up against the wall. You just don't do that because it immediately says to your clients that what you're doing is you're selling pieces of paper. That's what you do. You're involved in pieces of paper, in sizes and finishes, instead of in capturing emotions and sensitivity and feelings at, in your images. So treat your photography with a terrific amount of respect in the way you show it in your studio, in the way you treat it. I hope this, help, this tip has been helpful. If you'd like other hot tips and free money-making information, how to earn a better living doing what you love to do, which is photography, Go to the webpage listed below, and I'm Charles Lewis, and I'll talk to you next time.